It's taken our grocery stores by storm. It's in our makeup, marketed in products for babies. We can even buy clothes with it on the label. The word organic has consumed our language. Customary on the store shelves, but what about our backyard gardens? Organic means that you're grown without the use of Plants are grown without the use of synthetic pesticides or fertilizers um, and grown in an ecologically sensitive way. Kim Watt manages the garden here at the Greater Victoria Compost Education Centre, a small garden oasis tucked just minutes away from downtown Victoria. They've been here teaching composting, gardening and organic practices for 20 years. People are becoming much more aware of how our food system has become industrialized. Everything from where that chicken nugget comes from to, to how far your carrots have to come from or that frozen mango you buy comes all the way from Chile and people are really starting to question how much energy goes into that mango and is it, is it really a good use of our energy. The Compost Education Centre is trying to encourage people to complete the organic loop so that means not only buying organically but planting organically and it all starts with the seeds. In our industrial agriculture system, we only have a handful of crops that are grown and they're designed to um, be grown on an industrial scale using machinery to be harvested all at once and have a really long shelf life. Instead, Kim suggests planting heirloom seeds, which are crops that have been passed down through generations. So they're chemical and pesticide free, they adapt to the climate they're grown in, and Kim says the seed diversity is massive. I can't even tell you what there is. There's like 10,000 types of tomatoes out there. So there's all sorts of interesting characteristics in the plants. In this tiny greenhouse, there's about 40 plant varieties, each one of them local and organic, soon to find their way into Victoria Gardens. That is, if people aren't scared away by the slight jump in cost. Definitely organic can be perceived as more expensive because um, there's often added labor costs um, and energy to producing something without a lot of additives. But for sure, one way for families and people to cut down is by growing your own. Whether it's a raised bed in your backyard, a balcony garden on your patio, or even a plot in a community garden, the Compost Education Centre suggests stopping by, picking up a few packs of heirloom seeds, and branching into gardening. In Victoria, I'm Jen Moranitz for The Daily.